So good morning, good afternoon, buenas tardes, hola, buenos días, and bo bo tarde. And uh, we are here today uh, with uh, two, two resorts from Mexico, our wonderful resorts. Mexico is our number one selling destination right now. So we have the pleasure to introduce Elsie Lara, the director of sales of Imanta, and Kelly Mark, the director of sales of Essencia. So we are going to start with Elsie and Imanta, if you want to share your screen. We'll Absolutely. Keep question, huh? We'll keep the question for the end. We have the Q&A. But if you have anything, let us know. I'm reading both the chat box and the Q&A box. Esli, Perfect. The is yes. Yours. Perfect. Give me one moment. Okay. No. No. And then we will follow with Kelly, who will present Essencia. Huh? And then we keep the question, as I said, for the end. We can uh, all be on the video all together, and we can open the mic as your convenience. Perfect. So, so Esli, Imanta. Yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Dominique. So um, thank you very much, everyone, for joining. My name is Hesley Lara. I'm the director of sales of Imanta Resorts. This is a beautiful property here at Nayarit, Mexico. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about it. So as you can see, we are part of Reliant Chateau. This is actually um, a really nice project. Uh, it's actually, Imanta is actually a, a Mexican-owned property. Uh, it has a really nice story. The owner actually was um, interested in building something very authentic. In the 80s, he passed through when this was pure uh, jungle and lush uh, through a boat. He saw the beach. He jumped off the beach. He got to the beach and he said, this is the place. He felt the vibe of Imanta, which Imanta actually means uh, magnetic energy. So I think that pretty much, you know, sums up all this story that has a lot of heart. heart. Uh, so this is kind of like the structure that he wanted. Part of his vision was to do the less impact in, um, in the trees and the jungle and to do something that had to do with um, the stones that were actually part of the property. So as you can see, this main building, this is part of Tukipa, where the main, uh, one of the main restaurants that we have is structured. Uh, the second level has one of the suites, Ocean View Suites, which is stunning. You have pure... Um, you have a view, 360 view of the mountains, the lushness, but also the beach. And the top is one of the best points to see the view as well. That's the observatory. And you can have very nice cocktails there. They are amazing, especially the jalapeno margarita. It's really good. Um, and uh, we also have in this structure, the two main uh, pools. One of them is located on the right side and the other one's actually in the observatory. So let me tell you a little bit more. Give me one moment. So as location, this is a very nice view of where we're kind of situated. We're just 45 minutes away from Puerto Vallarta Airport. As you can see, we're kind of hidden like a little, I call it like a little Bahia because uh, we do have a private, almost a private uh, beach. None of the beaches in Mexico are considered private, but as in our, in our sense, I think it's important for you to know that our beaches um, we do not share a beach next to another property, which gives us a really nice uh, feel like it's kind of like an inland um, island and mainland uh, experience. So, so that's a huge thing. And so let's, let me tell you a little bit of the inventory of the resort. Part of the structure, as I said before, the owner really wanted to buy of uh, using every single part of the natural essence of the resort. For example, the trees that were cut in during the whole process were implemented in the suites. For example, that huge tree that actually is in Higuera. And on the left side, you can see, for example, the stone. He, and this is a really cool story. So most of the stones that he found in the suites, he said, let's not, I don't want you to move this. Let's cut it and, build, and do like a tub. So this gives a very rustic, I like to call it like luxury raw experience for a lot of guests. They feel like it's very romantic and it's, for example, you walk into the suite, you never imagine in your, in your mind, you're going to see a tub there made out of a rock, right? So this is very, uh, this is something that really sets apart Imanta from other properties and the essence of actually feeling like you're part of this, pretty much reconnecting with nature. So that's that sums it up. And as in suites, we have four different types of, um, in total we have 10 one bedroom suites. We have four different categories. Uh, this is a standard jungle. Um, so all the standards, the standard jungle and the standard ocean suites, those are 1,900 square feet. They're very spacious as you can see. 
as well. After these two categories, we have suites, five suites that have actually private pool. One of them is the Jungle Deluxe, as the name says it. This is the Jungle View. As in space, this is 2,500 square feet. The pool, when I say it has, a, uh, it has a pool, it is a swimmable pool. It's not a plunge pool as other properties, and um, it's very spacious. This is actually one of the top because it has that romantic vibe of the hot tub, the Jungle Deluxe. And obviously a VIP suite that I really like. This is the Oceanfront Suite. So if you want your clients to actually experience an amazing sunset, this would be it, especially uh, because it also has uh, an amazing swimming pool. So those are the four different types of suites that we have in our 10 bedrooms. And after those, we also have two casonas. This is actually one of them. This is Casona Los Templos. This is 9,000 square feet. Um, it has two master suites that are actually located on each one of the, that are, they actually divide this main swimming pool, infinity main, uh, swimming pool. And um, each one has their own jacuzzi. On the backside, they have that little hut that you see, the palapa, that's where the kitchen is and also the living room. And underneath the right suite is where the third bedroom is. This is called the nanny suite. This is a smaller room. Uh, it has the option to have twin beds or king bed. Um, and it has a maximum occupancy of up to six people. So this is Casona and Casona Jaguar. So this is my favorite, obviously. This is 10,000 square feet. It has the biggest swimming pool of the property. Um, it has two master suites as well. And uh, another third bedroom, which is also the nannies. This is a smaller type of structure uh, compared to the other masters. Uh, it has an amazing outdoor tub. And I mean, the view from the terrace is amazing. There's a jacuzzi there as well. And obviously once the owner finished doing a month that he said, I want something for me. So he did his own space. This is actually the tree house. This is 9,000 square feet in total. You can see the first floor where, where the Palapa is. This is uh, the main master bedroom. It, it can actually be closed and can be, uh, it has air conditioning. The second floor is where the kitchen and also um, like, uh, I would call it like, um, Pretty much like a, a perfect, excuse me, lounge? Did yeah. you say lounge? Yeah, like a relaxed space, living room space, you know? Um, this actually has no walls. It's very exotic. And then the third floor is where there's another uh, master bedroom. Uh, the second and third floor do not have any walls, which gives a really nice exotic vibe for any of the clients. And this has a maximum occupancy for up to four people. Um, and it's actually perfect also for a romantic getaway. We've had a lot of VIP guests, uh, celebrities, politicals who want to stay away from everyone. And, and this is a perfect spot for them. So they can be really secluded in the jungle. Cool things about the tree house. Personally, it has its own private beach. And also it has a natural um, waterfall that actually um, becomes a three level swimming pool. So that's a really nice thing that the owner pretty much enjoys that most of the time. If we have any BIP clients that want to rent themselves, this is available for them as well. And obviously being Relaine Chateau, um, not only the structure and the service is important, but also the culinary experience. We have to keep our restaurant. This is open for dinner at this moment. Uh, very authentic food, something very regional. Imanta, one of the cool things about Imanta is that we use uh, the uh, very local seafood as well as corn that we get very close by to here. So all of our guests get a really culinary experience, but especially they feel like you're in Mexico, not just any part of the world, but also we need to include that authentic Mexico experience for them to actually feel like, you know, I, I tried some uh, very authentic mole or a very authentic pozole, et cetera, but with the Mexican yeah. national touch of the region, which is seafood. So that's something your clients are definitely going to appreciate in Bukipa restaurant, which is open for dinner. And obviously, Samaica, this is, I'm sure Dominique has enjoyed really nice ceviches here. So Samaica is open for breakfast and lunch, as well as one of my favorite dishes, which is sarandiado. This is the typical national dish, dish that we have here in the region. Um, it's a seasoned type of fish that has different types of spices, and it's one of the best here in the region. So... Give me one moment. My dearest Lee, since yes. we have a little bit of back noise, someone is not too far. I don't know if you have to close the door or something. Oh, sorry. Yes, uh, I'll, I'll check right now. Sorry. 
So um, besides that, we also have the jungle spa. Uh, part of the whole experience of the restaurants, obviously, is to the restaurants, the resort, is obviously to reconnect with nature. And the jungle spa is a big, big part of this. Um, so this is a huge thing because the owner actually camped out here while he was building Imanta. And your guests can actually reconnect nature in the jungle. This is totally open and the guests really like this vibe. They can hear the birds, they can hear, they're actually situated where the palm trees are. So they can hear the birds, they can, they can feel the breeze and it's a really nice experience for most of them. And obviously the magic of Imanta is not just the property and the culinary experience. I personally feel it's the people, the staff. You get greeted by um, my dear colleague, um, Jocelyn who greets you upon their arrival with a big smile, uh, with a welcome drink. Right now, due to protocols of COVID, we've been changing a lot of this stuff and actually include this type of amenities in the suites so they don't they still feel the warmth of this. And then we have Viviana welcoming you in the suite with several different types of organic soaps and shampoos. And to finish off your day, we have an amazing uh, Gabriel giving you an amazing cocktail at the Observatorio, just giving you a farewell throughout your day. So I personally, I, I feel like part of the heart of Imanta is really, really the staff and the great service they give. And so that's just a general of Imanta. We are part of Virtuoso. We're part of uh, Travel Made as well and Travel Leaders Select. So if you have any clients, we really look forward to hosting them and for them to enjoy a sunny vibe an authentic Mexican experience. And if you have any questions, and also we also have the fortnight free promo um, during throughout the year until December 18th of this year. So we really look forward to hosting you. Thank you very much for connecting. Um, any questions that you might have, I think they're gonna leave them to the end, correct Dominique? Yep, exactly. Huh? Thank you Wonderful. very much, Leslie. No, thank you. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry you had a little bit of background and then Marta, you mentioned it, I heard it too, but uh, anyway, yeah. you really life, your life at Imanta that shows us uh, you're not. Uh, so Kelly, Kelly Mark, you, we are going, you're going to show us our, your beautiful hotel, Hotel Essence. Yes. Good afternoon. Oh, 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 no, we're no, happy, Sean, Sean. The new hotel, yeah, everyone, the new hotel manager, huh? Sean Murphy. <laughs> very nice to see you. Huh? So it's a pleasure to have you both. I know, Kelly, you will be the one doing the presentation, but yes. I was looking forward to see Sean too. There's more <laughs> support here. <laughs> Thank you. But I will begin. Mm -hmm. If you want to share your screen. And uh, right. yeah. So as I mentioned, everyone, that uh, here we are today uh, with uh, Kelly Max, uh, Director of Sales and Marketing for the Hotel Essentia, and uh, Sean Murphy, the new hotel manager. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for the introduction and um, I hope everybody's doing well and having a lovely week so far. Um, welcome to Hotel Sensia. So um, let's just start off where we're located. Oh, sorry, I don't know my... No problem. It should be... Is it a, me... it, it's a PDF or it's a, you're using a PowerPoint? No. It is a PDF. Let me try resharing no worries apologize no worries. and we were talking about uh, the weather earlier so both property have a beautiful uh, beautiful blue sky and beautiful temperature and we see a lot of a uh, lot of clients asking for mexico huh, as you can see so and then anyway. it's very sunny and beautiful here right now yes. which we're yes, yes, super yes. happy about voilà. and both your hotels i think are the most uh, look after or thought after hotels in Mexico. So we are very proud to represent you both. Huh? Well, we're happy to have you a part of our team. And um, now I think I got it. So now, I, now we can start. <laughs> um, so welcome to Hotel Sencia. We're located um, on the beach of Shpuja in Mexico. So where is that exactly? We are just about 50 minutes from the Cancun airport, um, but we sit right in the middle of Playa del Carmen and then Tulum. So we're about 25 minutes from Playa del Carmen and about 35 from Tulum. So we're in a really great central location, um, but really exclusive and really private. So here's just um, an aerial photo of our property. And of course you can see how 
kind of private and exclusive are beaches, similar to what um, how Imanta doesn't have any neighboring um, properties. We're very similar. We have no neighboring properties on either side of us, which we're very lucky. Um, so guests really get that exclusivity and the privacy that they're looking for when they come stay with us. And of course, here's just um, another photo to feature our palapas that line our beach. These are first come, first serve. And you can see it's just the most beautiful, beautiful beach. And um, the service is incredible. So here's just to start off with a little history. Um, and just a little bit about our hotel. So in the far, in the top left corner, you can see our owner, that's Mr. Kevin Wendell. He um, actually bought the property in 2014. And to be honest, that's when our story really began. He's completely transformed this property. Um, he's actually a very famous Hollywood producer. So he's um, very famously known for the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Beverly Hills 90210. But he's a very accomplished man and puts a ton of heart and soul into this property which you'll be able to see throughout the presentation. Um, but along with that, since he does come from the Hollywood background, he's been able to bring a lot of um, people from that scene to our property, celebrities, um, people in the arts, um, everything like that. So it's been incredible. Um, so just a little bit to touch on the current situation. Um, our COVID protocols um, and procedures, we hand out this good, well, we don't hand it out, but it's distributed to all of our guests um, during the reservation process are good to know guides. So this way they're aware of all the, the procedures that we do to keep our guests safe and actually really exciting news starting this Saturday, all of our reservations are gonna include a, a COVID PCR test. So guests won't have to worry about um, organizing that themselves. We'll have somebody come on property and do that for them. Um, so now let's get into the property, the fun part. So just to start, our property is about 50 acres. So you can see it's really spread out throughout the jungle. So the arrival process, you get to our property and you arrive on a golf cart through the jungle. You can see there's a ton of wildlife. And then you emerge at the main house. So a little history. Um, our property was an originally the hideaway house, vacation home of an, of an Italian duchess. So with that said, when Mr. Wendell bought the property, he wanted to keep it that home. Um, instead of a big corporate hotel, we wanted to have the vibe where people feel like they're coming home and our staff is family and everything like that. So we try and keep that here. So at the main house, we have this common space. It actually houses Mr. Wendell's personal art collection. So you can imagine it has that, that personal vibe to it. Um, but it's just a really beautiful place to have a drink. We can do events here. Um, but there are suites as well located in the main house. Um, and the main house opens up to our two pools. So we have our adults only pool and a more family friendly pool, both looking over our beautiful beach. Um, and then right next to our pools, right behind it is our yoga palapa. So we offer complimentary yoga classes every morning. And then again, the star of the show, it's our beautiful beach. Um, of course, we offer complimentary the Hobie Cat, we have the paddle boards, and our staff can assist with any of this, but um, all of that is complimentary to our guests. And then getting into our restaurant. So first one being, this is Beef Bar. This is, we like to call it our tropical steakhouse on property. Um, it's actually a concept restaurant that started in Monte Carlo, um, but Mr. Wendell brought it here as he's a, a friend of the owners um, of Beef Bar. So they brought the, the restaurant here and it's been a huge success. The food is absolutely delicious. And I promise it's not just red meat. We have fish and we have vegetarian options as well. I can attest that Chilean sea bass is to die for. <laughs> and then next is Mistress. This is our beachfront restaurant. It's Mexican fusion, um, great for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And Cafe Esencia is our poolside restaurant. So this is our most casual dining experience. Um, again, open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner as well. Um, and this is relatively new. It's our coffee bar. So this is open for our guests to, to enjoy throughout the day, to grab a coffee, some pastries, anything like that. Um, and then beach bar. So beach bar is usually open during our festive season. However, now it just kind of serves as a nice place to have a drink, enjoy the view. Um, we recently did a proposal. It was beautiful there. 
Um, so it's a great space to just take advantage of for maybe um, private events or something like that. Um, and then our beautiful health clubs. So health club and spa. So here's just a little sneak peek into our spot, um, Mayan inspired. So it sits under a really beautiful uh, palapa. And everything you see in that picture, that's our um, spa kitchen. So everything in that picture is actually grown on property. So everything's local, organic, um, and has different healing powers, different, di different meanings behind it. It's a wonderful experience. And then of course our gym, so it's our techno gym. Everything is brand new. Um, and we actually have the new mirror, the virtual personal trainer and guests have been loving that. So that's awesome. And now our room. So first being our entry level, this is our jungle suite with plunge pool. It's about 700 square feet, has a really private terrace, um, a nice seating area, and of course a plunge pool. So the next level is our Essencia Jungle Suites. These, the only difference between these and our entry level is they're a little bit closer proximity to the beach. They do not have a plunge pool, but you are getting um, the closeness to the beach. So it just depends on what your, your guests prefer. Um, so this is super exciting. I know Dominique and I have been really excited about this release. This is our new rooftop wellness suites. These are completely brand new. Um, they feature a private workout space. So our rooms will either have this mirror, the, the personal, the virtual personal trainer I talked about in our gym, or it'll have a Peloton bike. So one of those two. And then of course, on top, there's a really spacious rooftop area with a really large pool. So it's not full size, but almost there. And it's the most incredible suite, super spacious. And especially for all the wellness and health trends going on right now, I think it's perfect. So next will be our ocean suite. So we're getting more to the heart of the property. The ocean suites are really great. Um, they, Like I said, they sit in the heart. So for people that kind of want to be close to everything and still have that ocean view, these are perfect. Um, and our penthouse suites. So these are great. The owner, um, Mr. Wendell, actually originally built these for himself, again, similar to Amanta with the tree house. Um, but they turned out so great that he's like, you know, why don't we just sell them? <laughs> So these are really great options. They're really spacious. Um, you can see they have a great rooftop area with a really gorgeous jungle and ocean view. So these are great for families because we can put an additional king bed in these and they are super spacious. Um, and next being our master suite. So these are actually located in the main house, that original um, structure that I talked about, the Italian Duchess's house. So this was actually her bedroom, which is really, really special. So as you can see, when you're in these suites, you kind of feel like the empress of the, the whole property. You can see everything. You're just right in the heart um, and features that private plunge pool as well. Some more photos. All the master suites have different layouts. So you're kind of getting um, different experiences with every different master suite. Um, and then of course our beach suite. So here you're getting the barefoot on the sand kind of experience. Um, they're a little bit of an intimate room, um, but of course you're just feet away from the ocean. It's a really special experience. And then the master beach suite. So these are one level up. And the only difference really is that they're a little bit more spacious than the beach suites and they do feature a private plunge pool. And so our presidential, this is personally one of my favorites. It's definitely the more, the most exclusive and private out of everything we have on property. Um, the really special thing about this bungalow is that it features about 120 feet of private beachfront. So for guests that really need that privacy, maybe just wanna stay on one side of the property their whole stay, this is perfect for them. It is one bedroom. However, the dining space on the bottom corner that can be converted into a second bedroom with a full king bed. Um, and the beachfront in front of the suite is incredible. We've done a ton of different events there, private dinners, bonfires, a volleyball court. I mean, we've done everything and the guests just really utilize the space for themselves. Um, great for celebrities. We've had their athletes, anything like that. It's perfect for guests like that. Um, so now we're getting into our villa options. First being our pool villa, it's two bedrooms with a full-size pool, of course. Um, it is two bedrooms. However, the media room in the back 
corner, that can be converted to a third as well. Here you can see the master. And then last but not least is our Villa Yum Ha. So this is our private three bedroom villa. This villa features a butler service, um, a private chef upon request, as well as their own um, personal golf cart to use throughout their stay. Um, and here you can see it's a little bit different style from our other our other suites, more hacienda, I would say. Um, but it's a really incredible experience, and it is a little bit tucked away from the rest of the property, which I'll show you. So right down here, this is Yumha. Um, you can see it's a little bit tucked away, so there is about a three-minute walk to the beach, but that's the reason we give our guests their private golf cart or bicycles, anything like that. Um, again, a great private option for guests that want that exclusivity. Um, and sometimes when big families stay in uh, Yumha, we recommend that they also take um, the presidential because then they have not only two private locations, but they're basic, basically a private beach as well. That's a great option. And that is all I have. I would love to take questions. We have some great promotions going on right now, which I can tell you guys a little bit about. First being our um, seven days of delight. So one guest book, um, seven nights or more, all of their food and beverage is included in the reservation, mm -hmm. except um, a few select items. But other than that, it's an excellent promotion and we're, we're really excited about it. Yeah, it's a but great offer indeed. Huh? Mm -hmm. And then you have another one as well, no? We are going to be releasing a special Valentine's Day promotion mm -hmm. in the next week or so, I'd say. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll get that out to Dominique as soon as possible and get, get the word out there. But other than the seven days of delight, like I said, the COVID tests mm -hmm. um, starting Saturday. Mm -hmm. Which is included in the rates, which is really Absolutely. Esli, I know you had a promotion as well. Huh? You have the fourth night free. Huh? That is correct. The fourth night free is valid all the way until December 18th. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Huh? Well, no. So I don't know if we have any questions, but I would like to thank you uh, to thank you all for being here today and to thank you, uh, Kelly and Esli, and for Sean also to give us mm -hmm. some company. Uh, let's see if we have any questions. Huh? 